For these questions, there were a number of questions about which Santosh already answered on social media. But I want to say a few words about that before moving on about Facebook. <clears throat> if you find my name on Facebook, that's not me. That somebody else put a call, they have a thing called a fan page where you can put the name of somebody and call it a fan page. I, I don't even look at it. As I, somebody told me there was something like that, so I saw it once. But I think there's nothing evil written there. They, somebody has put some of my messages and all that. But I do not correspond with people on Facebook. We have no time to waste for that. I'll tell you, even after 58 years, I know the Bible so little. I know the Bible so little, I don't have enough time for God's book. Where do I have time for Facebook? I want my life to count for eternity. Time is short. And I said that when I was 20 years old and I say that now when I'm nearly 80 years old. Time is short. Attend on the Lord without distraction. It's a verse I wrote in the front of my Bible when I was 20 years old. It is from 1 Corinthians in chapter 7. Two words which I put together. 1 Corinthians 7 and verse The time is short and so at verse 35 give your undistracted devotion to the Lord I put those two verses together in the front of my Bible and I wrote it the time is short give your undistracted devotion to the Lord I've tried, I can't say I've always been faithful. It's not that I don't read the newspapers. It don't let, it's not that I don't see the news on the internet. But it's in its proper place. It's like a little pickle, not the main meal. If you make the pickle your main meal, you'll get sick. You can have a little bit of it, but keep it in its proper place. But don't read things which are going to fill your mind. The reason why many people have bad dreams is because they fill their mind with a lot of rubbish. And uh, it's a good thing to read the Word of God before you go to bed at night instead of seeing everything on Facebook before you go to bed. So, and the other thing is, you know, we can be friends with the wrong type of people. Do you know that there are thousands of divorces that have taken place because of Facebook. There are divorce lawyers in England who have said that many thousands of divorces have taken place because on Facebook they link up with some old flame they had in school. I don't know whether you all know the meaning of flame. I don't mean a literal fire, but something that stirred their hearts, a young girl or something who is now a grown up married person. And then they link up and they, uh, it destroys the marriage. It's happened again and again. You have to be very, very careful. There are people, uh, you know, who chat with you and who pretend to be girls, and they're not girls. Uh, and you, you're a girl thinking you're talking to a girl, and that's a man who's trying to get at you. This has happened many, many times.